Gulf Coast is dealing with heavy rains and gusting winds from Hurricane Zeta. This is a look inside the parking garage of the Golden Nugget Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi, which is dealing with a major storm surge. Yikes. The Category 2 storm made landfall in Louisiana this afternoon. And Betsy, we think of New Orleans when we think of these hurricanes, but Biloxi, mm -hmm. Mobile, Alabama, all hit just as hard of late. Yeah. Anywhere east of where the storm made landfall will have a rise in that surge, so that is certainly going to be a problem for them. Now it turns to widespread rain throughout many states, and then also we're going to be dealing uh, with wind problems in the deep south. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but first for tomorrow, we will have widespread rain here to begin the day. That rain will last into the afternoon, probably by mid to late afternoon. We'll finally start to see it breaking up, but we are in for a soaker of a day. Temperatures are going to hold in the 40s. There's the the big picture, okay? You can see Zeta right down here. The storm is moving very quickly to the northeast, so it's already into uh, western portions of Alabama. The upper level low that's kind of the kicker that's going to move Zeta very quickly eastward is hanging back here into portions of Oklahoma. That too will be coming east, so we kind of have two of these features coming at us, and that's really going to start to funnel the rain northeastward. There is the storm. It is starting to fall apart. As soon as a tropical storm gets away from the warm water, it starts to lose its energy source. As it moves farther to the northeast, it starts to really rely on the interaction between warm and cold air, and that's kind of the process that's going on. It's not a clean process, though. It's a dirty process, and as it does so, it will decay, and that will kick up even more in the way of uh, wind and rain and big problems. It is still a hurricane. Keep in mind, it's sitting way inland, still a hurricane, category one with 80 mile per hour winds. The track takes it right up the spine of the Appalachians and then off of the East Coast, just south of Philadelphia. That's interesting for us because the core of that storm stays down even in southern sections of West Virginia, but the rain shield will be expanding our direction. Rainfall the next 48 hours is going to be impressive, not only because of what was left of Zeta, but also remember we have that upper level low coming in. That's going to help to wring out the rainfall on the northern fringe of things, so they're expecting a couple inches of rain tomorrow in Cincinnati. Meanwhile, we're not getting out scot-free. Areas farther south have a chance for heavier rain than those farther north toward the lakeshore, but you can see we're still in for about an inch or so of rain with areas far south, Millersburg, Dover, New Philadelphia, even over to Carrollton, expecting at one and a half to two inches. Here's your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. There's the rain. It arrives early morning, spreads across the area. This is not a wind event for us. It won't be windy. It is just going to be coming down and the temperatures are going to hold in the 40s. By three, four o'clock in the afternoon, now you see it's all starting to shift eastward. We'll have Cooler air pushing in, though, on the back side of that. That could awaken some lake effect rain for Thursday night into Friday, but certainly those scattered showers are going to remain in play as we start the day on Friday, too. Universal Windows Direct forecast, rain for all for tomorrow. We're going to stay in the low 40s all day on Friday. We will have some clearing conditions. Halloween looks beautiful right now, mostly sunny, temperature about 50 or so. After the time change, look at Sunday's forecast. We start in the 50s. The temperatures fall. It gets really windy. Wind changes to snow. My friends, I think we will have our first accumulating snows, especially east, as we go Sunday night into Monday. By Election Day, we're back to sunshine, and then we flip the switch. <laughs> back to the 60s and sunshine through most of next week. That is certainly going to be a positive trend after four very big events coming our way. Yeah, that sounds good. I do believe that is the first time you have uttered that word. You know what word I'm talking about yes. this season. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I had to think about it for a minute. All right, Betsy, thank you. <laughs>